is it wrong to tell a narcissist you want to start seeing other people? I'm going to answer that question in this video. Hey, I'm Dr. Melissa. I'm a trauma expert and top doctor. And in this video and on this channel, I help you identify the hidden narcissist in your life identify the impact they are having on your life, and then turn that trauma and that drama into gold, becoming stronger and more powerful than you ever were before. If that sounds like exactly what you need, click subscribe, click that notification bell so that you are notified of each and every video. Today I'm answering one of your questions. The question was that was asked was, is it wrong to tell a narcissist you wanna start seeing other people? And I'm gonna start by saying, this isn't really your question. You're dancing around the issue, trying not to look too deeply, hoping that this question gets you where you need to be. You are questioning your right to take care of you. You are trying to avoid feelings of shame. You are asking for validation and reassurance about who you truly are. How do I know? You're asking for permission. When you have a healthy system of internal validation and, and approval. When you know solidly who you are and not only accept, but love yourself, you won't need to ask. You'll do what's best for you while showing kindness and compassion to others. This question is codependency or emotional dependence talking. That's actually a good thing. Not that you have any codependent traits, but look, so does 90% of the population, so there's no shame necessary. But that your emotionally dependent subconscious script has made itself visible. It's no longer silently running in the background right now. You can see it. You can hear it. You can touch it. If you are emotionally dependent, a victim of narcissistic abuse, or both, you feel so many fears. Fear of being wrong. Fear of being not good enough. Fear of being worthless, fear of being unlovable, fear of being bad, fear of being invisible. You've been programmed to people please, to put others happiness before your own. I say programmed because it's not a conscious choice. It's another subconscious script running in the background. You have a hard time setting boundaries. You might say boundaries, what are those? Or maybe you say, why set them when no one honors them? Or maybe you don't like setting boundaries because it's awkward. These are all completely understandable. They are codependent traits that likely made you a phenomenal target for the narcissist. And the narcissist cultivated these traits throughout your relationship. Why? Because they benefit the narcissist. Starting today, right now, it's time to rewrite the script. If you want to truly heal from narcissistic abuse and move forward, in a healthy relationship, it's time to shine a light on them. 
So you can choose to rewrite these subconscious scripts that have been ruling your life, running the show. If you are in a relationship with a narcissist and you want to start seeing other people, examine what you are really asking. What are you really feeling? You want to break up with a narcissist, but that seems too harsh. You don't want to hurt their feelings. You don't want to make them mad. You're afraid of making a clean break. You're afraid of being alone. Telling them you want to see other people seems softer. It's not. It's like holding up a tissue paper boundary and then inviting them to bust through it. Or like building your house out of straw when the big bad wolf is standing right outside. It's not wrong to want to end the relationship. And it's not wrong to tell the narcissist the truth directly. If you want to end the relationship, end the relationship. You don't owe the narcissist an explanation or a discussion. Offering one is like building your house out of sticks. The narcissist will huff and puff and eventually blow your house down. And if you don't feel safe having a discussion about it at all, it is entirely okay to go no contact and end the relationship. Hear me. You are not wrong. It's not only okay, but it is required for you to do what's best for you. Set a firm boundary. When you do, your house will be made of bricks and no one can blow it down. If this video resonates with you, type, I am okay in the comments, then like it, share it with someone who needs to hear this message right now. And if you know that you want to move forward in your healing journey from narcissist victim to anti-fragile narcissist survivor, I invite you to download my free guide at narclesslife.com. I am Dr. Melissa, and I will see you in the next video.